In this video, we'll learn about an end-to-end -end software delivery platform, Harness Open Source. Let's get started. Getting started is as easy as a single Docker run command. Within seconds, you have Harness Open Source running on your local host port 3000. Harness open source projects include your repositories, registries, pipelines, and pre-configured dev environments. You can create a new project or import project from other Git providers. Within the project, you can add members and specify specific roles for these project members. In Harness open source, you can create a new repository or you can import repository from other Git provider. Here, I'm importing a repository from GitHub drone organization and I'll enter the name of the repository. This is a public repository, so I don't require authorization. Click import repository and within a few seconds, this repository is important in Harness open source. And now I can create pipelines for this repository. Pipelines within Harness Open Source are tied to specific repositories. For this repository, I can take new pipeline, give this pipeline a name, and then hit create. Now Harness Open Source automatically provides a template pipeline for you, but you can click on generate and Harness Open Source is smart enough to know that this is a Go project, so it provides steps to do go install and go test for this repository. Hit save and run, specify the branch, and then your pipeline will start running. Within seconds, you imported a repository and then have an up and running pipeline for your go project. Harness open source comes with built-in artifact registry. You can update your pipeline to push the image within this built-in artifact registry. This registry provides all the information for you to log into the registry, push and pull the image. Here I'm downloading the Nginx latest image from internet and then tagging the image and finally, pushing the image to the internal registry of Harness Open Source. Harness Open Source comes with pre configured dev environments called Git Spaces. To get started, Choose the repository and the specific branch and then choose the IDE. You can choose either VS Code desktop or the browser version and then hit create git space. Within seconds, your git space will be up and running. The configurations for these git spaces are configured in a file called dev container. If you don't provide a dev container yourself, a default one will be provided for you. Once this git space is up and running, your developers can start contributing to the code base without needing to set up any git configuration. Ready to get started? Head over to Harness Developer Hub to get started with Harness Open Source in less than 30 seconds and join the discussion in Harness Community Slack.